18-year-old Boris Mejia killed a teenage girl from Tucker and his father helped cover it up. Channel 2's Carrie Kavanaugh is live in DeKalb County where she spoke to Mejia's brother who told her how he caught him in the act. Carrie. Javita, this was a difficult interview. We heard a lot of disturbing things. Brian Castillo says he saw the body of Andrea Nassos in his backyard, not far from where his brother was digging a shallow grave. Did he ever tell you what he did? Yeah, yeah. He strangled her. And, uh, I found her dead. 19-year-old Brian Castillo then brought us into his family's backyard, where one week ago he says he made a gruesome discovery. What is going on? What happened? Why? Like, I just wanted the answers of why she was there. Brian says he found his brother, 18-year-old Boris Mejia, digging this shallow grave. He saw the body of Andrea Nassos on the ground nearby. He kept telling me, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And it's none of my business or anything. And I kept telling him, it is my business because look what you did. Police say their father, Ignacio Mejia, soon realized what was happening and told his son to stop. The following day, during the early morning hours of May 20th, police found Andrea's body inside her charred vehicle parked in Lucky Shoals Park in Gwinnett County. This is not far from Mejia's home on Old Norcross Road. Police said while interviewing friends, Boris Mejia soon became a suspect. He went to his house and discovered that he was gone. That was, that was pretty suspicious. Police say his father had taken him to Houston, Texas, attempting to hide him from police. Other family members cooperated. Now Boris is in custody in Texas. His father sits in the Gwinnett County Jail, and two families are torn apart. You know, I can't accept the fact that my own brother did that to somebody else. Boris Mejia is facing arson and tampering with evidence charges out of Gwinnett County, but he'll likely be facing a homicide charge out of DeKalb County when he returns from Texas. We're live in DeKalb County. Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News.